torch and I have my dabber, probably do a hit on the way home. I brought my dabber, but I didn't bring my torch. I got a torch. Okay, the GoPro 8 has been unpacked. There it is. Nothing new because this is the GoPro I've been using for the last year and a bit. <clears throat> Other than this is a new one. Still keeping my GoPro 8. And there's the accessories. And there is the actual GoPro, not a knockoff, GoPro New Media Mod C. As soon as you plug in your mic, it'll automatically register. There's a third party mic. So then that mic will not be used. Thus, it will be still the bike camera for the e-bike slash motorcycles. The bike is now at 1,014 kilometers. There we go. Yeah, so hopefully you guys can now hear Tipsy because the last time we tried, I didn't have the proper uh, adapter for the mic in. So, and as I was saying back there, um, hopefully the view is okay. Hopefully you guys like the 360 video. Um... I was out in Shannonville yesterday, I got six ounces and a gram of diamonds for 200 bucks. That's not enough, gotta go back out, cause you know why? This fat asshole lost diamonds. And I'm talking about myself, not Tipsy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and I, I started a video out there to tell you guys about the deal I got. And the camera was so cold, the video shut off within before I even left the parking lot. I went back and I was watching that video to check for sound on the mic and guess what I seen right beside my bike? Your face? The gram of diamonds upside down in the parking lot. Oh yeah. Oh, I was like... Someone got that for free. Yeah, that's okay. It's only 25 bucks a gram so it's like... Eh, not like diamonds used to be 100 to 125 a gram. It's like buying some white powder stuff. Yeah, that's why I never ever bought that shit before. Who the fuck wants to spend a hundred, even 50? Whoa! Go! Even I, 50 bucks on a gram, like that's a lot. I, I did that 55 the other day. I know, that's what I mean, and it goes quick. Oh, that went so quick. I got like a hit left that I got to try to save the wife. Yeah. Hey, drive test, thank you for giving me my license. Oh, guys, I got a pickup truck, by the way. I'm not telling you what it is yet. <laughs> yeah, you got that truck. <laughs> and I uh, got to do some work on it. Got a safety in that. So, uh, guys, buy the uh, Teo Gemini and uh, fund my uh, driver's ed class for my G2 so I can get it by November and have a truck on the road. Yeah. I know the truck's probably going to need about two grand. That's just a high estimate. That's what I'm saying. The body works what's going to cost the most. The rocker panels and the uh, the box needs a little bit of repair. But <sighs> I wish I still had my hookups. Hookups. In Peterborough. Oh yeah. Yeah. Then I just, eh, you know, it would be it would be done already. 150 yeah. bucks. And guys, help, help, anyone? <laughs> yeah, I used to know if you guys like, still do that, but I haven't talked to them in a long time. Yeah, I can't find my buddy's number, and I don't know, yeah. Maybe if I had a bike license, I'd go out to his house. Oh, I do have a bike license. Maybe once I have a GM2. M2. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that 360 video, yeah. I haven't checked it out yet, but... It's, I want to have time to actually sit and watch the whole thing. <laughs> yeah, I was watching it today on my phone, and I'm like, oh, fuck yeah, I'm like looking it's at everything. Time. You watch it ten different times to see ten different angles. Oh, yeah. No gloves today, guys. It's nice and warm out. Hey, Bebo, Tipsy probably has gloves on. Yeah. Yeah, I don't understand. My hands are the baby hands. My hands hurt when it gets cold out, and I don't know. My things are a little bit beefier, too. I could probably wear it without gloves if I had the gloves on before I even walked outside. Yeah, if I knew it was this nice, I would have taken off the winters and, uh... I'll probably take them off when I get there so I can have a vape in my hand. Yeah. Like, not the hand warmers, but my gloves. Yeah. My hand warmers go on and off easy. I switch them back and forth. Well, these do too, but not when they're taped. I got the ends taped so the wind doesn't come in. Cause these are meant for actually like a bicycle, like your bike. Yeah. 
These are made for your motorcycle, four-wheelers, skidoos. I actually found a pair of these for the motorcycle. I wasn't even looking at it. I was looking at accessories I can buy for the motorcycle. I found a pair just like these for like 180 bucks, and I'm like, holy crap! I only paid about 70 or 80 for these ones. Yeah. Tipsy wanted to go cheaper because he didn't have that much money at the time. He went with $30 ones. I've heard him kick himself in the ass about that a few times now. It's only, it's, they only don't hold the cold when it's like really, really cold. Yeah. Other than that, you're good. I think, no, I think your biggest issue were they weren't like, for well, like. Oh, they don't have lots of room in yeah. either. Yeah. So, like I have to have custom uh, brake levers in here that are cut really short for only like two fingers. Yeah. Or else they cut your brakes off, yeah. Yeah, exactly. Where are mine? You just, and mine have two big pockets that you can put uh, about six beers in each one and get your hands in without gloves. <laughs> six happy dads in one. Uh, that's the only thing I'm going to miss not going to Florida. Yeah. So guys, yeah, I don't know if I said it in the video before. Um, oh yeah. Was, oh, yeah. was planning a trip out to Florida. Go ride the tail of the dragon and then go down to, well, that's in North Carolina, y'all. And then I go down to Florida for Cletus McFarland, a couple of events down in November. 900 mile ride the first day. Yeah, 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 it's a lot, but lots of people have done more on much crappier bikes. <sighs> yeah. Um, but with the truck coming, I gotta, I gotta put my money into the truck instead of trips. But I'm still doing camping trips all around Ontario, like. We're currently working on a, a few day trip, maybe Sault Ste. Marine go harass Randy's, Randy rides. I won't even tell him, don't you, you guys don't tell him I'm coming either, but I'll hunt down his house and go slap stickers on his window. <laughs> Mess around with him, put a beer outside of his door, run away. <laughs> Might get caught on his YouTube channel. Yeah. <clears throat> but if I'm camping up there, I want to go up north and spend a few days out in the tent, out in the middle of the bush, so. I'm going to do that throughout the summer, but I mean like way north, where I'm taking like maybe three, four, five days off work, where that isn't going to cost anything like doing a 6,000 kilometer round trip to Florida and back and taking a detour through the tail of the dragon and the hotel rooms and the expensive food that you can't cook on campfires because you're in hotel rooms. <laughs> <clears throat> yeah. Where I'm thinking about going, it's only it's only about 16, 17 hours away. But also, also I want to do other trips like shift it, twist it. I I can't remember. I'm pretty sure you're in New Brunswick. I can't remember now. Shit, my memory's shot. 